Technoblade was and still is one of the cornerstones of new YouTube. During lockdown, I think a lot of people wanted, you know, comfort or escapism and Technoblade was one of the people to provide that. His career during lockdown was pretty much made overnight, as well as a lot of other creators in the Minecraft scene. Technoblade always stood out to me because being honest, I don't really watch Minecraft YouTubers, but Technoblade was special. Whenever I had one of his videos come up in my recommended, I would watch it. His deadpan humor, his wit, sarcasm, it really like resonated with me. Even up to eight years ago when the guy was 15, he was still doing these self-deprecating videos. Like how, for example, he was accused of also clicking. He made a video explaining how he wasn't. All right, so let's see how fast I clicked. All right, that is 732 times per second. As you can see, I just clicked that. And yeah, so that's proof that I'm not an auto clicker. Thank you guys for watching and you're bad because just stop whining. You're bad at video games. Get good. I'm better than you. One thing that always amazed me about him is like how good his videos were. He didn't have like a high production value, a, a whole team of like 50 editors that are on payroll. If anything, the editing was just super minimal. It was usually just zoom ins on his character with some post narration commentary. And most of the videos never had any background music but they didn't need to. His personality carried his content. Now, obviously he didn't try to hide it, but behind the scenes, Technoblade was suffering with a really aggressive form of cancer. But the fact he was able to be so cheery and optimistic, despite having such a debilitating illness like cancer, it's astounding. Th this as well, right? This is proof of how much of a giga chad Technoblade was. Imagine this, right? Like he knew he was going to die, and then in advance, he released a merch drop. And one of the pieces of merch when his death went public, it says, GG Easy with his date of birth and death. No idea how a guy could be dealt such a horrible hand in life and still make the best of it. I remember watching an update video he did a couple months ago where he talked about the possibility of being an amputee. And for most people that's devastating, it's life-changing. But again, he just jokes about it so nonchalantly. He thinks it's gonna be necessary to amputate my right arm to actually get the cancer. And so, you know, I'm preparing for this like anybody would. I got a Google Doc open, I'm writing down all the jokes I'll be able to tell when I have one arm. Like, uh, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So anyways, the fact that he could have lost his right arm as an amputation to stop the cancer spread, which effectively would have like made his Minecraft career near impossible. And he just jokes about having to edit it with one arm. Like it, the, the fact you, <sighs> something that would like devastate most people. And he, he's too busy like writing down jokes <laughs> on a Google document. And I think as well, it's really unfair that someone who had such a bright future, he, he just had it taken away so soon. Technoblade's channel came out with a video last night titled So Long Nerds, where his dad narrated a final letter that Technoblade wrote to his fan base. And the letter is just typical Technoblade fashion. It's not sad, it's not depressing, even though it has every right to be. It's, you know, it's a life ending illness. He knows he's going to die. But instead, he just writes the letter trolling people. Like, for example, how people thought his name was Dave because he put a fake name out there. And he was just laughing at all the people that thought his name was Dave and were trying to be creepy with him by calling him by his first name. My real name is Alex. I had one of my siblings call me Dave one time in a deleted video from 2016, and it was one of the most successful pranks we've ever done. Thousands of creepy online dudes trying to get overly personal going, oh, hey, Dave, how's it going? At one point, he even apologizes for shilling merch so much. Could you imagine that? Sorry for selling out so much in the past year, but thanks to everyone that bought hoodies, plushies, and channel memberships. My siblings are going to college. Well, if they want to. I don't want to put any dead brother peer pressure on them. Imagine being terminally ill from a disease, being given months to live, and you still apologize for wanting to make money on the side. Most YouTubers will shill like 500 Chinese mobile game ads that probably give you malware, and he's apologizing for merch. And the fact that he used all that money to put his siblings through college, if they choose to, and just supporting his family as well. He's honestly one of the most selfless people and I'm, I'm honored to share a platform with him. It just, I, I resonate with it a lot because one of the first things I did uh, when I did YouTube full time is take my parents out of their jobs and they work for me now. Like, honestly, when I, when I first heard of his death, it didn't really hit me that hard. I was like, oh, that, that, that's horrible. But I think like sleeping on it now and like coming to terms with it, even though he wasn't like in my sphere, in my circle. Yeah, it's, it, it's horrible. It, it, I, if you're fortunate enough to like still have contact with your family or any friends, like please reach out to them. Please, please reach out to them and just make sure they're okay.
because it's it's moments like this that really make you realize how fragile life is you can get complacent which is fine but then you know something just changes overnight and and, and it's gone he was an amazing content creator and he bought a lot to the platform he really did and even though he's gone now, there will be YouTubers 100% that blow up in the coming months or years, and they will say that Technoblade directly inspired them. Even though he's not here anymore, what he did for the platform and like media in general and entertainment will ripple, you know, throughout the years, if not decades. I'm going to leave a link in the description for his merch if anyone wants to buy it. And the video is monetized. I usually don't monetize videos like this, but all the money made off this video will be donated to cancer charities that he was supporting. And including myself, I'm going to make a direct donation. I think like no matter what community you're in or your friend sphere or group, whenever a YouTuber passes, I think it, it reverberates around the community, like everyone feels it. The way I see it, all YouTubers are like part of a huge family. And, and like most families, a lot of us don't get on. A lot of us don't talk to each other. A lot of us are very distant, you know, mutuals that you'll never interact with. But again, if something happens to someone, it will get back to you. You will hear about it and it will directly affect you. Like, for example, you know, Technoblade's passing, Etik is passing. Him and his family going through this are incredibly strong people and again it's just it's something i wouldn't wish on like my worst enemy i think no parent should have to outlive their child i'm the oldest in my family but my parents before having me they did have two brothers that uh didn't make it they died shortly after childbirth and i'm not comparing this to technoblade at all in any way but again it's you know a parent losing their child is, is devastating for them or losing any any family member so yeah technoblade you're a real one uh, I'm probably going to do a fat binge of all of your content now. Uh, and th thank you for inspiring so many content creators, man. Uh, we all appreciate it. Now, I wish I could end the video here by saying how amazing Technoblade was and how he inspired people and how he'll be missed by everyone because he will. But of course, you have the vultures. Vultures that realize that the person who has passed has ascertained more clout than they will ever see in their entire lifetime and try to profit off that. Now, thankfully, I, I do want to say... It I, this is amazing, like unheard of, but I think the internet is actually learning because I'm not seeing anywhere near the amount of leeching as with Etika's passing. With Etika, it was absolutely abhorrent. You had people like doing fake news reports, uh, J Station with his like 3 a.m. garbage, like trying to summon his soul. But even though this situation seems to be handled a lot more maturely, there are still a couple complete idiots. Like for example, this guy who's pretending to be a dead person, faking his verification tick, hoping to gain followers just so later down the road they can probably rebrand themselves into a Call of Duty quickscoping channel. I, I will never actually understand how even though you could be so damn bad and have the worst takes in, in society, there will always be someone that has a worse take than you. So yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, Technoblade, thank you for the years of content, man. I think YouTube as a whole, we all greatly appreciate it.